Well, that definitely has a curious taste. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 9 of Supernatural Season 13, the mid-season finale. And you got me. You got me, Supernatural. You have me curious, for sure, with especially the last shot of this episode. First off, let's talk about just how well this episode was shot. Admittedly, the camera movement was a lot more dynamic. There was a lot more fluid emotion. Admittedly, there was this weird, awkward zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out thing that only happened like once or twice. But otherwise, there was a lot of drone shots. There was a lot of overhanging shots. There was a lot of crane shots. There was the most amount of activity the camera has ever done in this show in a long time. I think that some of these shots have never been attempted. I don't really know the last time a drone shot was used in Supernatural. Also, where the hell was that boat? Where is that boat in BC? Like, where? Because I have a feeling I know where it is, but I didn't think that boat existed anymore. So, I'm very interested where they filmed the end of the episode. This episode has Jack return as he's trying to find a way to the area where the mother is, where the boy's mom is and we're meeting these dream walkers these people who are able to kind of view and somewhat go into distant lands or to different parallels of universes and we meet with a girl who is having her own sort of freddy krueger moments because when she goes there when she sleeps she gets cut up and she gets hurt so it's exactly like freddy krueger from nightmare on elm street as for the brothers however they're kind of off to the side for this episode this is jack's story this is his journey as we see how much he has matured since he disappeared and how much more of a control he has over his powers he's not threatening but admittedly when the angels come and he basically like kamehameha the one right through the wall that was pretty cool and the effects as well were also very good in this episode. And the angels are just dicks. The angels are clearly one of the main villains uh, for the rest of this show because they're just assholes. Especially when they're talking about what they did with the last Dreamwalker to the girl Dreamwalker. It's like, we didn't find anything from him, so we killed him. That was terrible. Terrible actor there. Um, but we also see that they're kind of setting up the spinoff of the Wayward Sisters where we've got the psychic whose dad lets her go but then says you can't come back and then we see Jody and obviously Jody's daughter is going to come back into it so I'm still kind of on the fence about the wayward sisters thing I think it probably will be successful as for me watching it I'm not really keen on it um, but we'll see otherwise this episode really kept me guessing all the way up until the end especially with the ads I was seeing and then when it started coming to the end we saw the flashes of weird world it kind of reminded me of purgatory just because there was a giant ape skull there. So what we see is the angels corner them in this giant ship. Um, they start doing this wham thing to get away the wards. And Jack, the Dreamwalker, and the brothers, they basically get transported. She's still on Earth. Jack gets transported to where the mom is. Mind you, it'd be interesting. I have a feeling he's going to destroy Michael. So that storyline might be out of the picture. And we might be going back with... Osmond Deus and his weird ass little underground people things. However, the brothers are in the bad place, as the one girl called it. The bad place also has a really interesting color scheme and makes everything that Sam was wearing purple. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I started giggling because it was like, that was not intentional. They're gonna probably change his shirt when they bring him back or something because it just looks so funny that he's in purple. However, are fucking dinosaurs in Supernatural now? Are we going there? I'm very interested to see how much your effects budget really is, guys, because that ending, you got me hooked. Admittedly, it's not as as the end of season 11 was the mid-season finale for that was so good it's way better than season 12's one which I was stupid being locked up by the government and then the episode that followed that was awful that's the one thing that this show has to try and break is mid-season finale returns are always very lackluster episodes so we'll see what happens with the next one but admittedly I will admit 
I am very intrigued. I did enjoy this episode, not just from a narrative perspective, because it actually did keep me guessing. There was a few things that I didn't predict or I didn't think was going to happen, but also from a technical perspective, especially with the camera. The camera work in this episode was phenomenal. It's probably the best that this show has had. Just don't do the zoom in, zoom out thing. That's weird. It doesn't make sense with just conversations it looks stupid but otherwise the rest of the work in this episode was really good i'm very intrigued to see how this is going to continue they've clearly set up a few different avenues of story i kind of wonder why castiel wasn't there throughout all of it considering you know he said he was going to protect jack but well, maybe misha wasn't available but otherwise i am very interested to see what will happen when the show returns in january or february anyways guys my final rating for this episode is a six out of seven good job show i didn't think you had it in you anymore but this is definitely the best episode of the season, I will say. Anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the reviews of Supernatural so far. While we're in this break period, I may continue with my retro reviews of the first season, and maybe I might get more than halfway through. We'll see. Anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you liked it, you leave a like down below, and if you're interested, maybe subscribe, and we continue this journey through season 13 together. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this review. See you all next time.